welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So we continue looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1 extensively. So this one is basically the 10th episode and we are now looking at question 16. So question 16, y varies directly as the square of x and inversely as z and y equal to 2 when x equals 4 and z equals 24. Find the question A value of k, the constant of variation. So let us start with here, uh, basically A. So what 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 do we know? So we've been told that uh, y varies direct as a square of x. Okay, so basically y varies direct as in the square of x. Now we multiply by a constant. Okay. And inversely as z. So inversely is divide by. Meaning when y increases, basically z should reduce. Or when z reduces, y should do in increase. That's what the inversely means. Okay. So now we know this. This is the generic formula. But we are told that y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 4 and z is equal to 24. So what we substitute there, so we have 2, whatever there is a y, then whatever there is x, we put a 4, so we have k multiplied by 4 square divided by uh, z is 24. Like this. So once we have that, we can simplify, so we have 2 is equal to uh, 4 times 4, which is the 4 square, we are getting 16. So we have 16k over 24. Then we can simplify this by, we can divide 4 into 16, is a 4. 4 into 24 is basically, uh, this is 6. Then we know that uh, 2 into 4 is 2, 2 into 6 is a 3. So what we get is basically is 2k over 3. Then we can solve basically for k by cross multiplying. So we're going to have 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 2k. We divide by 2, we divide by 2. So basically, we know that our k is equal to 3. So the constant of our variation is basically equals to 3. That's it. Question A. We we'll go to question B. Value of y when x is equal to 9 and z is equal to 27. This is b now. So this one, having found what k is, then the formula becomes much more easier. So we are saying y is equal to, whatever there was a k, we put a 3. So 3x square over z. Now we are told that x is equal to 9, then z is equal to 27. So we have now y is equal to 3, Multiply by 9 square because x is now 9, then over z, which is now 27. So y is equal to, we have 3 multiplied by 9, multiplied by 9, instead of first of all, uh, finding the 9 square, we just say 9 times 9, I'll, I'll explain why. So it's much more easier when you don't simplify. So what you notice in this case is, we have this case. So, this one, we simplify from here, so we have y is equal to 9 multiplied by 3 is basically 27, then multiply by 9. So what we've done is basically this 9 and this 3 multiply first, we find this, then over 27. So you notice the purpose why I didn't simplify, because I, this and that would cancel. So y becomes easier which is just 9, instead of multiplying, I find first of all 81, then I can start, again, I start dividing 27 into uh, 81 to get 3, then 3 multiplied by 3, which is 9. I'm going to waste time. So this one is much more easier. So basically, we know that uh, the value of y in this case is 9. Okay, we go to question C. Values of x when y is equal to 8, and z is equal to 6. So this is a c. So I'm going to create more space so that we have 
enough space to work on. So we know y is 8, then we know z is equal to 6, then we ask to find the x. So now we know what the constant of variation is, is 3. So we start with this equation. That's what we are going to start with on the next solution. So we go to c. So c is equal to y is equal to a 3x square over z. So what is y? So y we are given here, remember, y is 8, then basically z is 6. So what we have is 8 is equal to 3x square over 6. The question requires us to find the values of x. So what we do now in this case, we solve for x. So you notice that this is over 1, what you do, you cross multiply. This is the next step, we cross multiply here. So it will be um, 8 multiplied by 6 is equal to uh, basically 3x square. Then what we do is in this case, we can divide by 3, we divide by 3, then we know that, so x square is equal to uh, 3 into, into 6, this is a 2, 2 times 8, okay, so 2 times 8 is basically 16. Okay, so what I've just done is swap this, so this one comes here, then this one, nothing has changed. So I have x square is equal to 16. Then I'm looking for x, so I find square root here. So what this tells me is x is equal to a plus or minus 4. So we're saying which number can you multiply yourself twice to give us 16? So that number is in a 4. So the values of x can either be positive 4 or negative 4. So we go back there. We know that we have negative 4 here or positive 4 as in our answers. So basically, this is how you answer question 16. Thank you, viewer.